A basic circuit of an amplifier in common emitter mode with the NPN transistor is shown. Here is the NPN transistor with a N, P and N. Here is P and P, P, N and P. So here is the NPN transistor shown here. With from emitter is going out, that's NPN. The emitter base junction is forward biased by a supply voltage of VBB from base. So this is how the working principle of transistor amplifier is. The input AC signal to be amplified is applied between the base and the emitter of the transistor. And RC is the load resistance. The amplifying action of your transistor can be explained as follows. When the AC signal is not applied, the base current is available in small quantity in microamperes, which is represented by O and P. And the corresponding collector current is in milliamperes and it is represented by P and Q. When the AC signal voltage is applied, the potential difference between the base and the emitter changes continuously. This result in the increase of the base current IB from OP from OP to OA. Then the decrease of base current from OA to OP and then to PB once again. So there is a cyclic waveform appear. The collector current IC increases from PQ to AA dash and falls from AA dash to BB dash from here to here and again increases from BB dash to PQ. So it's having a cycle like this. A variation in the base current in microamperes produces a corresponding variation in the collector current in milliamperes. This produces a corresponding potential difference across RC, the collector resistance. The increase of potential difference across RC makes a decrease in the output voltage. Therefore, there is always a phase reversal of 180 degree between the input and output voltage in CE amplifier. This is how the transistor amplifier is working. 